And what did you make of uh, the, uh, his uh, follower, uh, George Bush, when he I'll came? say nothing. Don't get me started. You're not a fan? No, don't get me started. Okay. No, no. 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 He lacked a humanity. I like the fact I didn't, didn't have to say anything. Huh? You couldn't wait to leave him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't pushing. Can I just go on record? Can I just say one thing? Please do. If, you're, if you have any measure of heart, you, you, you start to get a, a feeling that you need to make up. You know, I'm in the program, the 12th step, and one of the steps is that we make amends. You know, after those eight years, which were like eight years of dictatorship in our country and the world, a lot of people died and a lot of people suffered. And there was never any inkling of sorrow or regret from this man. Now, during his last few weeks at a press conference in Baghdad, a, a guy stood up, an a, a, a Iraqi journalist, and threw his shoes at the old man. Now, whenever a president travels by act of Congress, wherever he is, is the United States. Air Force One is the White House. And his protection is always Secret Service. So the guys that jumped on that fellow and, and subdued him were Secret Service. They were Americans. Now, he had the power instantly to say, let him go. I'm going to pardon this fellow, and I'm going to make it official as soon as we're finished here. It would have sent a message of unparalleled importance, not just to the Iraqis, to the rest of the world, but to us Americans who had been literally uh, savaged by his lack of leadership. He was a bully. That's the bottom line. <laughs> there, was, no, there, was, there was nobody around him that would have given him that 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 instruction. Hey, you ought to pardon this guy. It would look good, you know. I'm uh, a. I'm thrilled to hear you speak this way. B. I'm hoping you feel better. You got that off your chest because I know you're. <laughs> I can sense you're carrying that around with you everywhere you go. Aren't you? I'm an awful man. But no, it's heartfelt, <laughs> and that's what makes it worth listening to.